Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will be installing R. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to open up our web browser. Now we are just simply going to search for download R. Okay, and then we click on the first link in the cran.rproject.org website. Okay, so I will download the Windows version, right? And then just click on that. So I'll cancel mine because I already have it installed. And once you have done that, you can um, open up the setup file and install R on your machine. And then once you have completed the install, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a path variable for R so that we can use it in our CMD. So to do that, we open up the start menu and then we search for computer and then click on properties. Okay, and now the next thing that we need to do is select advanced system settings. And then you'll be presented with this window and then select environment variables okay so now in this section for user variables so you get system variables and then user variables so in user variables we search for the path variable and then select edit okay and now as you can see i already have included mine so you need to know the location where R is installed at, right? So for demonstration purposes, I will show you and then select new. Okay. And then select browse. Then I will locate the installation path for R on my machine, which is in C program files and then R and then bin in the um, 3.6.2 version and then bin and then x64 and then you select OK. As you can see it will add the variable path for the R compiler. So I'll delete this one because I've already added it. Okay, and then select OK. And then select OK again and then apply. And then OK. So once you have done that, we should now be able to run R in our command line prompt. So let's open that up. Okay, and now all we need to do is just type in R. And then R should be loaded in our CMD. So let's print something. Okay. And then we can quit. So now we can verify that R has been installed and that we can access it from anywhere because we have created a path variable for it. Okay. So once we have done that, we can just quit. Okay, and then the next thing that we need to do now is download and install our IDE. So the IDE that we will be working in is RStudio. So we can search for download RStudio. And then select the first link that pops up. Okay, we can work with the free version. And then just download the version for your operating system. So I'll be downloading one for Windows. Hopefully you're using Windows as well. Okay, and that's it. So we have installed R. We have created a path variable so that we can use R in our CMD from anywhere on our machine. 
and then lastly we have downloaded and installed our studio okay so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one